Hello everyone, we welcome you to our second video on quick calculation tricks. I am sure by now you must have already learned tables, squares, cubes, reciprocals, etc. If you have not, then please go to App Store and download our app MathsApp, which should help you learn them in a fun way. I also hope you have already gone through our Vedic Maths tutorial videos by now. In this video, we will mostly be using the tricks of Vedic Maths to solve some simplification problems. I had shown you in our last video the kind of questions that we intend to solve in this video. So let's begin. Here is your first question. Please try it. Ok, let me help you. The last two digits of the product of these two numbers would be 77. If you have seen our Vedic Math tutorial of multiplication near base, you would know it. 1007 is 7 greater than the base 1000 and 1011 is 0 11 greater than the base. So our product would be 11 into 7 77 with an additional 0 because the base has 3 zeros and the first part would be 1007 added to 11 or 1011 added to 007 which will give us 1018. So here we are concerned only about the last two digits which is 77. Here the last two digits are 23. So if we add these two we will get 100. So we can safely say that the last two digits for this question would come only from this part. Again we know to calculate what these two last digits would be. So it would be 87 into 96. Again this is minus 13 and minus 04. That is it is less than our chosen base 100. Now 13 into 4 is 52. Negative negative positive. So we have a plus 52 here. And 87 plus minus 4 will give us 80. Three. Now, but we are only bothered about the last two digits and so our answer must have phi 2 as its last two digits which is true only for option 1. I hope you understand this. Let's move forward. Here is your next question. Please try to do it. Okay, let me help you. Again, the last two digits from here would be 75. If you have seen our tutorial on multiplication with numbers ending in 5, you will know that when there is a difference of 10 in two given numbers and the numbers end in 5, we can safely put 75 as the last two digits. And the first part would be 19 square minus 1, which would be 361 minus 1, 360. But again, we are concerned only about the last two digits here which is 75. Again, for 65 square, we know it has to end in 25. Again, if you have seen the tutorial of finding the squares of numbers ending in 5, you will know that 65 square has to end in 25 and then multiply this 6 with number 1 more than itself. So it is 6 into 7, 42. Again, we are bothered only about the last two digits. Now, for 115, into 55, 11 plus 5, 16 is even. So we can safely write 25 as its unit digit. Again, if you have seen the generic case of multiplying numbers ending in 5, you very well know we remove the number other than 5. We add the remaining number if it is even, which is 11 plus 5, we put 25 here. Now to find this part, you multiply 11 into 5, 55 and add the half of the sum obtained which is 16 by 2 which is 8 in our case. So our answer would be 6, 3, 2, 5. But again we are bothered only about 25 here. So now we have to find what this remaining number would be. So 75 plus 25 gives us double zero in the end. Now what added to 25 will give us double zero in the RHS? It has to be 75. So my number has to end in 
75, which is true only for option number 4. So you see how simple this question was. All you had to know was that when you multiply 185 into 195, the number would end in 75. 65 square will end in 25. Again, 115 into 55 would end in 25. So you could immediately say the missing number will end in 75. Okay, now let's go to the next question. Again, this question is very simple. The last two digits for a 107 cube will have to end in 43. For 107 square, it would end in 49 and 107 ends in 07. If you add these three, your last two digits would be 99, which is true only for option number 5 and hence this is your answer. For those who have not seen our tutorial as yet, finding 107 cube is also very easy. So again, the answer is in three parts. For the second and third part, you have to remember that they will each have two digits. And the third part would be 7 cube. The second part would be 3 times 7 square. And the first part would be 100 plus 3 times 7. That is it. So you have 343 here. 49 into 3 is 147. And here you have 121. Now you have to remember that it could have only two digits. So one digit each will be shifted. So 1, 2, 1 plus 1, 2, 4, 7 plus 3, 5, 0, 4, 3. As simple as that. And for square, it is same as multiplying two numbers near base. This is 7 more than the base. So you will have 7, 7, 49. 107 plus 7, 114. But in the question, we were concerned only about the last two digits. Hope you have understood the concept. Let's now move forward to the next question. Again, this is a very easy question. Finding the cube root is one of the easiest thing that you can do. So here, you have to forget about the last three digits and concentrate on only the first three digits and check it lies between the cubes of which two numbers. So this one clearly lies between 5 cube and 6 cube. So you have to choose the lesser of the two options. So the first part of the answer would be 5. And now to have 8 in unit digit, the number can be nothing but 2. So 2 multiplied 3 times can give you 8 and nothing else. So your answer for the cube root of first part is 52. Similarly, let's go to the second part. Here again, 103 lies between 4 cube and 5 cube. So your first part will now get a 4. And 3 in the unit digit can come only from 7. 7 into 7 into 7 gives us 343. In the unit place, you get a 3. Now, adding this to we have 99. So we have to find the number whose square root is 99. Or in other words, we have to find the square of 99, which is very simple to find. 99 into 99, 1 less than the base, 1 less than the base, 99. Minus 1 is equal to 98. Minus 1 into minus 1 is 0, 01. Our answer should be 9801. Okay, let's now proceed to the next question. Okay, let us try to solve this question now. We see it is not possible to use the concept of last two digits here because all our answer choices end in 65. Now, to solve this, we should concentrate on the first two digits and it is also possible to calculate it using Vedic maths. So, the product of these two numbers is very easy to calculate. 2007 into 2011 will be 007 and 011 greater than the working base 2000. So this part will become 2007 plus 11 into 2, whereas this part will become 77. We are bothered about only this part, which will be 4036, which is nothing but 2 into 2018. 
now the remaining three digits come from here now we are not bothered about the rest of the five digits here we are bothered only about the first two digits which is around 40 now let us look at this part of the product how many digit will its product have here sum of the digits in the product is 6 3 from here and 3 from here so the product of these two numbers can have a maximum of 6 digits but here if you look at the number 123 if I multiply it with 500 also this will not cross 5 digits so 123 into 500 will be roughly around 60,000. So if you add this 5 digit number to this 7 digit number, the last 2 digit, the maximum impact it can have is of 1 unit. So none of the answer choices can go beyond 41. So you can safely eliminate option 3, 4 and 5. Now if you look at this option 2, it has 419 as its first 3 digits. And now if we compare it with 403 and to this if we added a 6 digit number also it would become only 413. So clearly this option can also be ruled out and hence our answer would be only 1 4092165. I hope it is clear. For now I will again request you to buy hard all those important numbers and get comfortable with them. They will come really handy in time to come. Also, please go through the entire Vedic Math tutorial playlist. It will really help you get comfortable with numbers. So with this, I will close the session for today. See you in the next video.